You probably heard the term PMO or Project Management Office and a lot of organizations are implementing PMOs nowadays because project management is becoming increasingly important. We need to manage our projects, technical projects, engineering, new product development and more and more the project economy as PMI says is becoming the new norm. So we have also to manage uh, marketing projects, human resources, finance, all the areas we need project management and project management offices. In this video, you are going to learn what is a PMO anyway, is in an area, function, department, what are the benefits and why do you need a PMO in your organization? So let's go, let's get started. What is a PMO? So PMO stands for Project Management Office. So it could be a department, it could be a function, it could also be a group, a community of practice or something else in your organization. And that's why the definition is a little bit fuzzy and I'm going to give you the official definition by the Project Management Institute and then we are going to discuss how we can implement and make project management more efficient in our organization. So, is it a function? Is it a department, a group? So what is a PMO? Area or department? It is all of that and that's what makes it difficult because when we think about PMOs, the project management office, there is no one size fits all. So you cannot just uh, think about as a black box, you get a PMO and you install a PMO in your organization. So a PMO is not plug and play. It is not. A PMO, it is not uh, a black box. So there is no one size fits all. So there is no one size fits all. And this is very important, in the next videos we are going to discuss types of PMOs, how to implement a PMO, what is the plan we need in change management, adoption, all of that. So keep in mind that there is no one size fits all, it is not plug and play, there is not a recipe, a model. What we have regarding PMOs is best practices. So you can use benchmark as I'm going to present in the next videos, how organizations are using that. You can blend different things, mix PMO functions, PMO types. We have guidance and best practices related to PMOs. And this is what I'm going to share with you in the next videos. Uh, tell me if you're implementing a PMO, if you think that PMOs are important to your organization, leave a comment and also share this video, keep tuned so that you can uh, watch the next videos related to project management, project management offices and also project management methodology. Now back to the definitions, a PMO according to PMI, PMI.org, one of the leading organizations related to project management according to PMI. A project management office is a management structure that standardizes, facilitates and also centralizes project related activities, project related processes. So a PMO is a structure and this could be a virtual structure, this could be a physical structure, a department, so it is a structure responsible for standardizing, facilitating, guiding project related activities. So it standardizes or provides guidance oversight to project related activities. So it really depends on your organization, what is the maturity level, I'm going to explain in the next videos what is project management maturity, project program portfolio maturity. But the PMO is responsible for standardization, facilitation in project related processes, activities and any other uh, information related to project management. So right now your organization might be trying to implement a PMO or you are new to project management and you want to implement project management in your organization and what we have during a project management adoption in your organization is that the first step is when we have ad hoc project management. 
So you probably have to manage uh, uh, new business, uh, new product development, uh, new process, continuous improvement. You have different initiatives in your, in your company, in your organization, and you need to manage those temporary endeavors and you have to do it. So you just create a, create a to-do list, you use Microsoft Excel or whatever other tool, and it's not standardized. You're not using best practices. As you improve in project management, you have a common language or standards. You may adopt, for example, the PMBOK guide as a reference. You may use Prince2 methodology or other methodology, Agile project management, Scrum, other methodologies that I describe in the videos here in my YouTube channel and you can check it out. So once you use common language, then the next step is to have a standard methodology. And when we have a standard methodology, that means we need a department or a structure, a function, area to be the guardian for these standards or standardized project related processes organization wide. So this is very important org wide. We have to be very careful when we adopt project management practices, because when we think about an individual project, then it's easier because you just can use whatever templates you want, processes, steps. When we think about uh, an organization, 10 projects, 50 projects, 100 projects, 1000 projects, then it's becoming increasingly more difficult. And also you add complexity, you have the different departments, different interfaces, and that's when it comes to PMOs. In the next videos, I'm going to describe PMO types. What are the PMO types? We have enterprise PMOs, we have department PMOs, and many other different PMOs. I'm also going to describe the PMO functions. So we can provide coaching, mentoring to project managers, we can manage capacity, resource management, portfolio management. There are many different functions that a PMO may execute on behalf of the stakeholders or providing services to the stakeholders and helping project managers, helping the project teams and helping the organization in achieving their goals and objectives with project management. So there are different uh, project uh, management office types and project management functions, functions that I'm going to describe in the next videos. To conclude this video, it is important that you understand that there is no one-size-fits-all project management office is a new concept in a way because we've been implementing PMOs for the last 10, 20 years, but right now the organizations are changing at a faster pace, which means that the PMOs are changing also. We have even new names for the PMOs, the Agile PMOs, for example. We have the Transformation Management Office, the TMOs, and other new structures that are starting to help the organizations as we navigate change and complexity increasingly. So in the next videos I'm going to describe PMO types, PMO functions, also portfolio management, program management, and that's it. Stay tuned and share this video.